Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to another Racial Legends video, guys. This one will be all about Vizier Oveles. If you did manage to get him, then congrats, because he is an amazing champion. Fantastic in the clan boss, but also great in other areas, such as the dungeons and faction wars. And we're going to talk about that in this video. So guys, Vizier Oveles is very unique in his skill sets. Let's go over it very quickly. His A1 is what makes him such an amazing champion. He's one of the few champions that does have him, but in my opinion, he's the best one that has this certain uh, skill set, which... Basically, attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has a 35% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs by one turn. This goes all the way to 50%. And this is also increased by the Sniper Mastery. So uh, this is confirmed by the community at, at a whole, but not officially confirmed. But um, it's a good way to get that, uh, that Sniper Mastery in the support tree. So this ability, it does what it, what it says. So if you have any kind of debuffs on a target, which are useful to have, for uh, a prolonged period, such as poisons to do more damage, HP burn to do way more damage than poisons, attack down to keep that enemy uh, for a little bit longer with decrease attack so he doesn't kill your whole team. These debuffs are so, so important, and especially in places like the clan boss. The extending the duration of those debuffs will basically make you last longer. <laughs> so uh, extending the duration of the attack down is very important in most cases for the clan boss, but also the poisons will just make you do a ton, a ton more damage. So uh, this is the whole reason of having a Vizier of Elis in your team. So Master of Misery is his A2. This is not as important as his A1. Most uh, most users, most players use Vizier of Elis just for that um, you know, utility that you get from his A1. But his A2 is also good because it does uh, apply a block buffs uh, debuff and a decrease attack debuff and a heal reduction debuff for two turns. So the problem with this is that if you happened to not have um, some way to uh, apply a decrease attack, then you can apply it with Vizier. But the problem is these two other debuffs, when applied on the clan boss, can be just uh, a problem because they take away two spots of your poison. So it's better to go in the clan boss with a champion that does have a decrease attack debuff and not use Vizier or Veli's A2 to apply the decrease attack debuff. It's just my opinion, but you know it definitely helps uh, with damage potential for a whole team. And then his A3, guys, is one of the best skills in terms of debuff spread. There's a few champions that do this, and I think Vizier Velis does it the best. Applies the debuff spread effect, taking two random debuffs from the target and placing them on all enemies. Place a perfect veil on this champion for three turns if the target is under two or more debuffs. So uh, this is great. Well, when he does use it, it debuff spreads. You can use this in areas such as the Spider Dungeon. Um, will not work as effectively on Spider 20 because that's Spirit Affinity, but this one uh, works great in the, the lower difficulties, but also works great for the um, Doom Tower. So uh, let's go on his final thing, his passive. Place a perfect Veil buff on this champion for two turns at the start of each round. This is perfect when you go uh, through the dungeons and you need to have him be in stealth mode and take way less damage from uh, area of effect um, abilities, but also just, you know, it definitely helps having that on any champion. That's 15% damage reduction right there. And increases ally attack in dungeons by 34% on his aura. This is good, but you're rarely going to use him in the leader slot. Usually you can have other champions that, that do have something better. But if you don't, then this is perfect for dungeons. Gear-wise for Visitor Valleys, the way that I built him for this video is, of course, life still and either... You can go either speed set, accuracy set, or perception set, in my opinion, for this champion. Uh, but I do advise to try out the perception sets. These give you uh, the both from both sets so they give you the, the accuracy and they give you some speed not the total 12% uh, boost but they do give you a nice 5% boost so if you do have some crafting materials then do use those perception gears so overall stats that I, I'm looking for a visitor release for the clan boss in a non-unkillable setup is of course speed ranging for 170 to 190 if you're looking to do uh, ultra nightmare clan boss this is the best uh, speed while also maintaining a high defense so defense 3.8 thousand of course um Anything above 3.5 thousand will be great, but as long as you can um, just keep it as high as possible while also maintaining all the other stats, it's more beneficial for your whole team because if he survives a little bit longer, then of course you'll get a little bit more damage. And then finally, accuracy. You need more than 220 accuracy if you're going for Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. If you're going just for Nightmare, anything from 180 to 220 is just sufficient, but uh, we're always showcasing Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss because that's the best place uh, to farm the Clan Boss. Overall, going for defense percent on the gloves, 
and chest and if you can you can also go a defense percent on the boots while also getting a speed substat if you can maintain that speed that i said before 170 to 190 and of course going defense on the, the ring and defense on amulet and if you can a defense on banner while also maintaining that high accuracy if not then go for an accuracy banner just so you can get over 240 mark so as I said, 220 to 260 accuracy will be uh, enough for Vizier. And then finally, Masteries. I went for Giant Slayer in the offense tree. Uh, it, that's the best Mastery for Vizier Relis as he's a triple hitter on his A1. Of course, all the other Masteries are the Clan Boss specific Masteries, especially Methodical, um, Bring It Down, and of course, Life Drinker. These are all beneficial for a champion in the offense tree. And then the support tree, of course, getting some extra accuracy is always good. Um, lower of seal there to just uh, benefit my perception set a little bit not, not gonna benefit the life seal set and evil eye is great for dungeons and doom tower and then finally sniper because it does benefit um, viziers a1 so let's go over and check him out first uh, in some of the dungeons on where you can actually use vizier to just beat those dungeons a little bit faster a little bit easier and then we'll go over to the clan boss just to showcase on how to properly set him up and then when it's a safe time to actually press that auto button in the clan vault because it's not always right from the start. So guys, now we're just going to showcase a Vizier Relic's unique kit and how to beat the spider. So spider 19 usually is one of the hardest stages to actually beat. Spider 18, the same thing, but if you do happen to have a Paragon and an HP burner, then it becomes just trivial in beating those stages, reaching 20 and doing that on auto uh, with a specific team and just Vizier there is so, so helpful. So I'll show you how this thing works with the, his debuff spread and also his uh, debuff extension ability. So. How we start things out is, of course, just going to have the army ears uh, do some terimeter control there. It's fine. We're just doing the cheese method, guys. So uh, we're just going to apply the HP burn on the big spider. There it is. And then next up, we can either extend with the A1 or just spread it out with the uh, with the debuff spread that he has on his A3 for turn cooldown. But look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at all the HP burns on the spiders. Every single spider now has an HP burn. When a spider takes a turn with an HP burn, it just damages out the big spider. So look at that. Look at how much damage we're doing to the big spider with just an HP burn going. And we can actually extend this throughout the fight um, by just using uh, Vizier right there with, with his great um, A1. So look at this now. So we're going to extend it even more. Four turns duration. And basically, this is the cheese that you can do and easily beat the spider. If you do happen to get a uh, Vizier Relics, I find this fantastic. And I think it's a great way to actually think of the game mechanics on how uh, and how to use them against specific stages, which can be um, quite challenging for newer players or mid game players. So uh, just using this specific abilities, I find that it's just it's just amazing. I, I find that this is amazing that there's only this champion that does uh, both of these things so good so have it on an a1 his extended duration of debuffs but also on his a3 have a spread debuffs and also have a great a2 as well so fantastic champion so there uh something happened with paragon and it basically messed up the run uh did i not take a turn or something not sure so uh i think we can still beat the the spider dungeon with uh with him just dying so there's no point in me uh just ending this video but we can keep extending this but just just because my uh, army gears will survive and all the hp burns are there uh, we shouldn't have an issue right here and uh, i think the next two turns and the spider should be down so there it is guys <laughs> we did have paragon dying there uh, i'm not sure why i'll have to check that but it did definitely work and look at this my best time on spider 19 actually i haven't done spider 19 since a long long time ago and it seems uh, that this was the day that i actually uh, improved my <laughs> improved my best time there so uh there's a reason i didn't go back there because it's just the most annoying dungeon there is so guys here is just the basic setup for skull crusher um a skull crusher team 170 speed to 190 ideally on everyone that's where you should be the accuracy accuracy should be at the proper levels but what i want to showcase is, is how to actually use vizier in the very beginning of your clan boss uh setup and then you can actually just press auto so on the clan boss setup you need to have seven poisons on the enemy clan boss ideally seven poisons 
and a decreased defense, a weekend, and of course, a decreased attack. Decreased attack is honestly the most important out of all of those. If you don't have a weekend, it's fine. Your damage will be lower, but definitely need the decreased attack. So here, we're going to try and do the decreased attack. We do apply it there. So a uh, decreased attack, four poisons right here on the target. That's here. Um, right here, we go with the Vizier of Ellis and use his A1. So we extend them by a little bit, but we still need to keep using his A1 uh, until we are uh, on on the safe spot. The safe spot is when all the debuffs are at least um, at a four turn duration and we also have a counter attack team going. So the counter attack will also help us with that. So decrease defense and we can fail there to actually apply. So here we're gonna go with A1. Uh, we got some increased um, duration of debuffs. Let me just heal back the team here. We're just gonna try and get some turns uh, with Fane because she will be applying everything. There's Iron Brago. There's the counter attack from uh, Skullcrusher. So here, just keep on going with that A1. See, we're very, very unlucky here uh, with uh, with all the debuffs. Just gonna apply some more poisons right there. So currently we have four, six poisons and a decrease attack. So if I do go and apply uh, the two poisons right here, we'll get overwritten. But because we do have a very low duration on my poisons right here, uh, I don't mind. So we actually got a resist. So Vizier will go there with his A1 and uh, will actually have to just manual it for a little bit longer. So that's what you have to do with Vizier. If you see that your, um, your debuffs are not landing, you get some weird resist that you shouldn't have, you get some weak hits that you shouldn't have got them, just exit the game, guys. When you exit the game, you keep your key and that's very, very important, especially when you're setting up with the Vizier because it's so delicate, the setup, it's so delicate that anything that breaks it will just get your run to not be uh, where it, it should be. So right here, we have only five debuffs on the target. Uh, we want to have decreased defense. We want to have weekend on the target. So let's try and apply them now. Uh, we do apply them. So two, four, five, seven. We still need uh, just poisons now on the target to um, to be on the safe spot. So here we apply poisons. Ideally, we, we could we could here just let it go on auto. But usually, it takes up to turn count nine for us to be on the safe spot um, to actually use. Um, use uh, the auto button so here just increase defense and then we're gonna get some extra turns now vizier is fantastic with a counter attacker and the reason is he just takes uh, a counter attack in there and all the poisons look at them uh, nine turns duration five six turns ten ter turns duration that's what you need you're on the safe spot right now but we have two four, six, eight, nine. We still need one more poison. If I let this go on auto, Vizier would have probably gone in there and actually uh, apply either his block buffs or his, uh, or his heal reduction, which is very, very annoying. It will just limit all my damage. And of course, guys, the faster you have all 10, all, all 10 debuffs on the target, then uh, the more damage you're gonna do. So here, when we get those weak hits, that's actually a bad run. So we get an extra turn there, that's good. Let's do A2 there, come on, land it. There we go, that's the poison that we needed. And actually now I, I can even press uh, auto and the run should be um, as efficient as possible. So as I said, around turn count nine is where you actually press auto. So we do have a poison there with a three turn duration. And because of the counter attack buff uh, on Vizier, that's how he will be extending the duration of all the poisons. Here he got unlucky. So we do have only one of them on a three turn duration. This is uh, on the danger zone, okay? The danger zone is actually missing this and dropping it and then this being replaced by something else. So you have to be wary of uh, your um, your duration and even actually step in, uh, unpress the auto button and help the duration go up. But we got a bit lucky here with actually applying it. So it's six turns. This should be safe for the duration of the fight. And now Vizier should help this team go to about 30 to 35 million damage. That's what you need for Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. That's two key and you get all the maximum rewards that the game currently offers through the clan boss. So this was the Vizier Ovele showcase. Of course, guys, you have to use his unique, unique skill set uh, in the specific areas that you need him, either being the Doom Tower, Dungeons, uh, the clan boss, 
Uh, he doesn't really work for the arena because it's very, very specific on where you can actually use him. But there are some setups that can be fun if you want to try them out. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, if you want to see a showcase of another champion that you might not have or do have, but want to see them uh, on endgame gear, possibly with some other champions, then leave it down in the comments below. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya!